guys, you're watching Ani and Rafa's tech channel here in China and uh, we got a scooter here from a brand called Okai. Uh, they're based in Hangzhou, south of Shanghai and um, it's an electric uh, city cruising scooter and we're gonna make an unboxing video for you guys uh, and assemble it and then we're gonna test it. And then we have to put the cables inside here. Exactly. Alright, it's a bit tricky. So it's we have again. to be careful not to squeeze it. Wait, wait, there's like, so here's one part. Okay. Yep, now it sits. So basically now we have to uh, we install the the handle here, the main handle, exactly. the controls. Now we have to flip it up and then take care that you lock this one here in. It's quite easy. And that's it. So I think this is uh, meant for transportation. So we can always just uh, flip this uh, front bar uh, back. So you can uh, put it in your trunk of your car or it's easier for transport. Exactly, it's pretty easy to open as well. Yeah. And you can put it on again. Okay, so now the next procedure is to install the seat, right? Therefore, you have to lift this one up. Yeah, just remove the covers here. I think that was the main assembly so far. Do we have to do anything else? Check the so menu. Far. And get the vehicle out of the package. All right. Perfect. So let's just lift it up. basically finished the unpacking of the scooter. It was pretty easy and simple. Very straightforward. Yeah. Very straightforward. Um, here the assembly guide is in English as well. I'm going to show you a quick video of it. Very easy to understand. Yeah, good translation. Everything's fine. What is important is when you get the scooter to check that you also have the charging power supply. And here this one is uh, for the Battery, I think it's the battery adapter. Battery so you can take out the bat battery of the scooter and leave the scooter downstairs. So if you live in a flat, you can take up the battery or to your office and charge it in the office and then, uh, yeah, right back home. Yeah. Okay, so the scooter is now charging. We're waiting for it and then we're going to take it down for a test drive. Yeah, absolutely. So just uh, leave it here and uh, we're going to meet you guys on the street. All right, we're now here down on the street in Wukangru and uh, here in Shanghai and we're gonna take the scooter for a drive. We want to give you some specs before. Um, the scooter's weight is around uh, 23 kg, which is not so easy to take up to the fifth floor or something, like if you don't have an elevator. So maybe taking out the battery and uh, leaving your scooter downstairs would be the better option. Um, we got a range of around 40 kilometers, which is around 21 miles. And um, we got a maximum speed of uh, 25, uh, 25 kilometers per hour. Exactly and that's around uh, 16 miles. Um, what you have to do is, in order to use it, you have to register with, uh, with the app. So you have to open an account. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do now. And then you can control all the specs of your scooter, the range, um, charging and so on. Uh, we're going to show you in a minute. So yeah, I would say, um, let's go. Let's uh, open the phone and uh, check the app. You can see the equipment um, page. So basically that's our scooter. And you can do uh, some different things here. You can switch the speed mode. So you have like high speed, low speed, echo, uh, depending on, of course, how far you want to go, how fast you want to go. You can um, switch off your scooter. You can do energy 
recuperation, which is quite interesting. That feature will be coming soon in future. Um, you can switch between uh, metric and imperial measures. Um, interesting for our friends in the US. Uh, cruise control and a lot of like other uh, features uh, can play around with it a little bit. Um, I would just say um, the sport and echo mode is the most uh, important one and uh, as well, which is uh, I think really important. You can see and check on the map where your scooter is located. So nobody has stolen it or nobody took it away. Or let's say you just parked somewhere and you forgot where it was. You can just find your scooter in here. Um, this is Apple Maps. So I think in uh, another country, which is not Chinese speaking, you will just have like, uh, um, like Latin alphabet uh, writing of the location. So it's no problem at all. Yeah, that's basically the app. So I think it's, uh, it's quite nice, quite a good overview. And you can add more equipment in here in your personal page. Yeah. All right, so I got my key here. So there are two options to unlock your scooter. First one is just touch the surface here and press this little button. And now you're in driving mode. And if I now gently press the lever, you see it already wants to go. So no problem at all. And if I want to switch it off, take the key, put it here, done. Or another way is I just press the button here. And then same thing, works the same way. And if I want to lock it, press again and nobody else can use it. So before we do the test drive, I quickly want to show you how can you charge the battery. Here you have two ways. The first way is you can easily take your charger and you can plug it inside here from the right side of your vehicle. You open here and plug in and you can charge it. You can also open with your key the battery compartment here Take off the lid Unplug the battery And take it out You have this adapter that you can connect directly to the battery and charge it up in your apartment um, To charge the battery you would need about 3-4 hours from 0 to 100% So actually pretty easy and convenient if you want to park your scooter downstairs and take up the battery to your home cool so let's go for a test drive Okay, so we have just finished our 20 minutes test drive here in the French concession and I have to say I do like the scooter. The acceleration is pretty fast but not too fast and the same for the brakes. They are really good but they are not too strong. What is quite cool, what I like a lot is that you have here this old-fashioned bell and on the front you also have an electronic front light you can turn on here with this button and you can easily turn it off again there is some suspension here in the back but other than that it feels a little bit bumpy the scooter when you drive here on a bumpy road um, what I don't really like is that you cannot adjust the height of the seat or you can also not adjust the height here of the steering wheel so for tall people that is a bit complicated um, if you're a bit smaller then that's perfect for you so uh, this was our test video of the Okai scooter. Um, comes with a price tag of 700 US dollars. So um, it's, it's not a cheap option, but the quality is quite good. Um, we like that it comes with a lithium iron battery that you can take out, you can charge at home. Um, and I think there are going to be like a lot of other features in the future, like the recupera recuperation for the battery, uh, which gives you a little bit of extended range. And um, yeah. Yeah guys, thank you for watching our video here on Andy's and Rafa's tech channel on YouTube. Please like it, 
follow us for more interesting videos and see you in the next video again. Bye.